Jeffrey Shimmer with Producers Search Show. I'm here with Kate Nelson of Volition, and we're here to talk Agents of Mayhem. Agents of Mayhem, it's in the same sort of universe yes. as Saints Row. Mm -hmm. If you know and love Saints Row, it's gotten pretty crazy. Um, this game has a little bit of that going on. Not quite to the extent of going to hell, at least so far. We haven't revealed <laughs> everything yet. In this game, it's a little bit more grounded in reality, kind of like where you're getting at, but we're still really focused on having those over-the-top moments, over-the-top themes. You play um, a group of agents that belong to the Agents of Mayhem Agency, because <laughs> um, our writers like redundancy and acronyms a whole bunch. Um, yes, there's a you lot are, of acronyms. Yes, many, the many good guys acronyms. have acronyms. <laughs> the bad guys have acronyms. I love acronyms because yes. I'm bad at them. So I appreciate them. It's really fun for us because we have to memorize all of them. Uh, but anyway, don't test me, please don't test me. <laughs> What's the and, bad guy one? Uh, Legion, it's the uh, League of Evil Gentlemen intent on obliterating nations. I did it. It's the end of the day and I got it, guys. This is great. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, Legion are the evil masterminds that are trying to take over the world and Mayhem are the agents, the group of agents that are there to stop them. What I found unique is like you can just switch between three people like instantly, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. And they each have their own abilities and stuff. And you can also level them up, am I right? Yes, you can. Um, in the demo that you saw, they were all set at level, but a lot of those abilities that you see, they will unfold over time. Um, a lot of the technology you can unlock, there's things that you can upgrade. It's really exciting. Um, so you can take your hard tech and you can push him in different ways. Like, I want him to be more of a tank. I want him to regenerate health, or I want him to have a longer range gun, which is what I like to do. So his shotgun becomes even more impactful. If you don't know, hard tech is this <laughs> big black <laughs> sailor. Uh, East Coast guy? He's an East Coast guy, yep. He's got a harpoon um, with technology that allows him to teleport enemies near him. So what's awesome with him is you can use the teleportation technology. You can throw the harpoon, pull a guy in, and then whap him with your uh, harpoon, and then shotgun him in the head. Knock him out. He's my favorite by far. So, so far, you released uh, four characters. Yes. Only one of them is a white guy. And I'm a little, a little disappointed by that. Oh, but he's like the epitome of the like PR guy. We wanted um, yeah, our face of me. Yeah, he's a jerk, like me. I feel, I feel a little offended by that. It's a little too on the nose. Uh, too on me. the nose? Yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, he's perfect. He's a, he's a really good um, head of that agency. We wanted the, the face of Mayhem to be that generic white like guy with the slick back hair with a little bit of an attitude. I think it, it had been working out for us so far. All the characters, they are sort of anti-heroes. Yes. So yes. all of them have good things about them and bad things about them. They're sort of, if you're into d d sort of uh, chaos neutral. Yeah, they're, they're that chaotic neutral type where um, the, the, the goal of all of them is to take out Legion no matter what. Some of them are a little more good, some of them are a little more nefarious, but the ultimate goal is they will do whatever it takes to stop the bad guys. So if Soul yes. is completely destroyed, but Legion is also destroyed? Yes. <laughs> victory for most of them. The technology probably they also took as well. Like Mayhem probably would have taken the technology, destroyed Soul, and then destroyed the Legion. <laughs> but they're stopped. They stopped them. That's the most important thing. So, you know, there's a cost, but it's not <laughs> the biggest cost. Right. Yeah. Right. And why did uh, you pick Seoul, Korea? We were really liking um, the ability to juxtapose the old and the new. So you can see those cherry blossom trees and the temples and in the distance you have this technology center. Um, we were really pushing for verticality. We were pushing for technology and like really like having that interplay between both. Yeah. Well, thank you, Kate. Thanks. Um, this is Jeffrey Shimmer with Producers Versus Show, powered by PDP. See you later. Bye.